Hello brilliant minds, welcome back to Anna Theotron, where we are devoted to building academic excellence in students. Ever face the long series of numbers and thoughts, there is no way I'm adding all that. Well, guess what, you don't have to. In this video, I'll show you how to find the number or the sum of a series using just your calculator. Fast, accurate and stress-freeing. Whether it's 5 tens or 50, your calculator got your back. And I'm here to show you exactly how to use it. Stick around and you'll never look at a series the same way again. Let's dive in. So our first question being given to us is that find the sum of the first hundred natural numbers. Find the sum of the first natural hundred numbers so with this question when you're even solving it manually how are you even going to do are you going to write one two three four five up to hundred your book will be odds exhausted you finish all your book so what i'm going to teach you today is what a really valuable uh, lesson that when you really stick around and you learn it will really help you in your examination for you to be able to have enough time to go through so let's bring our calculator. I'll add you to also grab your calculator so that what you solve along with me. So good. So let's go for our calculator. This is our calculator. So now what I'll do is that what I'll first clear the screen. I'll first clear my calculator so that what everything that I have solved previously on my calculator what I will not what encounter an error when I press equal to it. So to do that, I'll press on shift number nine, number three, equals and AC. Good. So our calculator has now not been cleared. All that you need to do is what to bring up our formula or our way of solving what the series. So what we do is that you see here when you are using the formula for finding the series, this is how it will be where the hundred is the what end. And the R starts from what? 1 and all that. So this is how it be. You, when you solve for it, you get what? 500, uh, 5050. 5050. But let me teach you how to what? use the calculator for it. So to do that, you press on shift. And the log sign. You can see on the log sign, we have what? A symbol on it. So you press on the log button. This sign comes. So what you do is that what? Here. This side, where the uh, mouse pointer is, is where we will put our what R. But note, our calculator does not what have the alphabet R, or the calculator only recognizes the alphabet with X when you're really solving for equations or anything. It recognizes what X. So instead of we putting R there, we will put put X there, and to get our X, what we do is what you press on alpha and our bracket close alpha bracket close our x is now what's there so we need to what's come and fill in the spaces too so we use the arrow button the right arrow button it goes down that place starts from where one so we put one there we use the right arrow button to to go up it starts from where 100 so we put 100 there now if you're not able to type it's in our calculator. All we just need to do is what press equal to. We press equal to to see an answer. We get what? 50 50, for which is 5050. The same thing when we solve manual, you get it. So your calculator can actually solve the sum of a series for you. So simple and all that. Good. So let's look at our second question. Find the sum of the series, which is our sigma. We have the n to be 5, the r starting from 1. And the equation to be r bracket open 3 plus 2r bracket close. So we are going to type these questions in our calculator just like that. So to do that, we press on shift and the lock button to bring this. So here we have what's r. r. And as I said earlier, the calculator recognizes what's the alphabet x. So to bring our s, we press on alpha x. And the bracket goes to bring our x. Then we have what brackets open. So we bring brackets. We have 3 plus 2. Instead of r, we put what's x there. And we close the brackets. When you do not close the brackets, 
you will not what get spots and exact answer why am i saying that now let me show you let's start again you see when we press on shit and the lock sign here the, there is already a bracket there so when you do not actually bring the brackets or ask how you do not type it as how the question is it will give you what's mass error and all that so it is what's alpha x then you bring our brackets we have three plus two hot r but we'll put what's x there and we'll close the brackets so now what if after what what's in the question so we write uh, we put click on our right arrow it starts from where one and our n also is what five so we've not been able to type this in so let's press our equal to, to see when we solve this manner let's see we had what 155 as our final answer but let's see with this one to whether we are going to get 155 for it so we press equal to what are we getting 155 so you can actually see that out the calculator is so so what helpful when we actually what utilize it and all that so let's go to our last question which is number three i told you to find the sum of the series sigma we have our n to be four r starting from one and the equation or the expression to be two r plus what r keep so we bring our sigma again on our calculator to do that shift and the lock, lock button so we put our expression here which we have two instead of r what we put x there class what s cube shifts then the square to bring our cube then we press our right what's arrow by frame to go down we start from where one press the right arrow to start from where four when we are solving it manually you get what 120 so Let's see whether what our calculator was what give us 120 when we are punching it on our calculator. 120. So you can see that what we can actually use our calculator for it. And that's how easy it is to sum a series with just a few tabs on your calculator. No formulas, no long mass, just smart techniques that save time and boost your confidence. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on more calculator tricks and mass shortcuts got a topic you want me to cover next drop it in the comments i'm here to help thanks for watching and not tutoring and remember keep learning keep growing see you in the next one